Hi, I'm Mackie Mullane with Vintage, and I'm going to be showing you the new Metal Prussians foil sheets, along with our die cut and thinlets, and our new embossing holders. And just dip it into your glue okay. the ends. So first, I'm going to take the thinlet, the dragonfly thinlet, and I'm going to place it on the magnetic platform in between the two and clear then plates. The purple, we're gonna, or the, the okay. ger uh, geranium. We're going so to dip then, it in the purple. I'm going to put that through the machine. It's um, pollen by Just Woodland once. Phoenix. Uh, it's a paper product. Um, it was used in um, okay. the trains, you know, the model trains, landscaping. And so so then this, um, we have uh, our dragonfly so die cut. You dip the ends into your glue, so you fan, it out. fan it out a bit. And that's going to be glue, ready to you emboss. You're going to dip yours in orange. You're going to dip yours in purple. Okay. No, so no. then I will take one of these small yeah. embossing folders and just place it in there where you want your design to show. Uh -huh. And for this one I'm going to be using um, the solo platform and the solo shim along with the two clear plates. And then yours is into the orange. Place it it's in between the two clear than, plates. Uh, Flower soft, soft yeah. yeah. Cheaper than flower soft, and it's a natural and product. And that flower soft once. is PVC pipe that's been shredded. So, mm. yeah. So you can okay. glue your flower. Yours gets glued on the top on the black, and yours gets glued on the white. So then you have. Then you can, uh, we'll do your your crown. The crown gets um, put some glue on the tab and bring it around. Your embossed dragonfly, and then. Um, so next, I'm down. going to use the. Ranger Patinas. Just the bottom? Uh huh. And just get a small amount of up. each yeah. out yeah, on your yeah, craft the sheet. Gets, the two sides get glued together. And these patinas are really great because they're super easy to blend together and use, and you've got so many different color combinations you can make with those. Just roll the end. Make sure your yeah. brush is nice and dry because the patinas are water soluble. If you mix it with water, your patina color will be kind of milky and bubbly. And you want it to be nice and opaque, so you're going to want to make sure your brush is nice and dry. Yeah, you're going to do it right now onto okay. the, this mat. But you, you, no, put your flower on first. So yeah. take a little bit of each color and sort and of blend using, them. There's a leaf tool now, and each one of these petals you just. Um, and just apply the, it. The vein, yeah. The, the and as you go, you can you wipe off that surface, and it's going to bring that shiny foil back to the here's front. Here. So just kind of keep on going and blending. And make sure you cover that whole surface. Okay. So once again, just wipe that off. And then take your Vintage Reliefing Block. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll stay right on that. Okay, and so reliefing is just bringing that shine back to the front, and we're using the dark side of the reliefing block. That's going to be the heaviest grit. Hey, I'm teaching. What do you mean? And so then you have yeah, your bye. little embellishment. Okay, so then we'll add it to this part. I do. So the nice thing about oh, these is that they're adhesive back, so it's just like a sticker. A little crimp in the end. You can, um... Okay. So I'm just placing that on the card. Oh, the pen like a little bit of my tail broke off so I'm just going to stick that on too. Yeah. 
Okay, so get that on nice and secure. And then you have your dragonfly. I could say that the camera is like the top one.